Hi everyone and welcome to my video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to decoupage an old preserving jar like this one. This is one I've just picked up at an op shop. And you can pick these up for about six dollars, six New Zealand dollars. Um, so what you want to do is start with a clean jar. So if you have got it from an op shop or you know second hand then make sure you give it a good clean before you start okay so that's what we're going to be working on and what you'll need for this project is um, some paint today I'm, I'm going to be using this Newton's chalk paint this one is in aged white um, this is a really good product and I like using it on glass because it doesn't peel off if I use the acrylic paints um, in the student tubes, they tend to peel off, so your work's not going to last on glass. But this one's really good for glass. And you'll need some fine sandpaper, a little bit of water, and a little brush. You'll need your homemade decoupage glue or homemade Mod Podge. I'll put a link to how to make this in um, the description. Some cling film or Glad Wrap. A little sponge um, paint dabber. A spoon for mixing your paint and possibly a paintbrush. And for finishing a um, clear primer. So this one is a spray primer. You don't have to use a spray primer, you can use one that you put on with a brush, but always make sure it's water-based and clear. I prefer satin or matte, you might prefer gloss, but that's what I'm going to use today. Okay, so before we start, I'm just going to give the jar a light sanding, just very light. And this is just to um, make sure the paint really sticks to it. And that's about all you need for the sanding and then just give it a brush off you know just make sure there's nothing sticking there okay I'm just gonna move my water out of the way I'm just putting a little bit of um, grease proof paper down just to protect my surface and I'll move that out of the way and then I'll give my Paint a little shake up. So yeah, like I said, this paint is really good for on glass because it doesn't, you know, it sticks to anything. Um, it's not gonna peel off once you start decoupaging. I did when I first tried this. I tried it with an acrylic white paint, um, just. You know the sort you use for art not not a house paint and um, once I started decoupaging it it started to peel off so learn from my mistakes so you just give this a good stir it's not long since I used this so it shouldn't need too much stirring okay and I'm not going to bother pouring that out into anything. But. Okay, so I just dab my little sponge in there and just go for it. I just want to cover the whole jar. If there are any bits, just sometimes there's little bits in the paint. Just um, take them off. So 
So I guess by doing this you are changing the use of the jar. So from a preserving jar you're turning it into more of a vase or a storage jar. And sometimes it's nice to change the use of things. Yeah, I like to get my paintbrush to do around the the rim. You can't really get in there with the little sponge dabber. And you're going to do two coats on this, so don't worry if you miss something on the first coat. Now this paint takes um, about an hour, I think, before you can recoat. So there is a bit of waiting time. Okay. And then I'm just going to do the bottom there. I always like to cover every surface. Even though you don't see the bottom, it's nice to for a finished product to be properly painted. Okay, and to set that down to dry, I just tip it like that and then touch up where I'm done. Okay, so that's the first coat done. And I'll come back to do the second coat and then we'll move on to the next step. So now I'm going to just let that dry and then I'll come back and we'll do the next step. So moving on to the next step now, I've got my sandpaper and what I'm going to do is just sand away where these uh, words are on the jar in this oval just to make that sort of pop. I'm just using a fine sandpaper. It does take a little bit of time, so I might fast forward this part. So that's not too bad. You can see the words. Um, I hope you can see them on camera. And I'm just going to clean up the mess and then I'll be back to show you the decoupage. Okay, so I'm all cleaned up now and I'm going to start applying my paper napkin, my decoupage napkin to the jar. So first of all, I'm just going to cut across here. So it's a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to use.
and the first section that I want is uh, these birds. So what I do is I just take my water and my little brush and I just go around them like that. As carefully as I can. And I don't want that little half cherry there, so I'm just going to go and wet that part. And come back around here. And the reason I do that water is so that it's easier to tear out my image. You may want to cut out your images. Um, I like to tear mine usually. Occasionally I'll cut them. The reason I tear them is because I find the edges blend into the paintwork um, better. They just seem to become more seamless. Okay, so that's my first piece there, and that piece is going to be my main piece, which I'm going to have up the top, I think. Yeah, up the top, hanging down over the words. So I think I'll just take out a little bit more of the white. Okay, so that's the first piece, and um, while I'm at it, I'm just going to take out this piece. separate your layers because you only want to use the top layer of your paper napkin just get in there and you'll see there's three layers just gently pull away the top layer from the bottom two and you can just discard the top layer and just before you start gluing just work out approximately where you want to put your your um, your decoupage. So I think about there will be okay. Okay, so I've got my uh, homemade 
Mod Podge and my brush. I'm just going to give that a little stir. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paint my glue onto my jar. Just where I need it. You don't want it too thick. Just like that. And I'm going to get a piece of Glad Wrap Ready or cling film. Position that. Sorry if my head's in the way. But about there. Okay, so that's gently in position. And then I'm just going to take my cling film. And push my paper napkin into the paint. And then I'm just pushing down here so that the words pop through a little bit. And the reason you use the glad wrap is so that you can, you know, not be rough but have a bit more firmness um, pushing down rather than doing it straight onto the paper because then it will just tear. And you just pull that away and that looks quite nice. Now my next piece I'm just going to put along the bottom there like that. Okay. So the same thing again, I'm just going to separate the layers, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find the edge, but just be patient with yourself. I've had some people come and tell me, oh, I can't separate the napkins, but you know, just be patient with yourself and you'll get them separate. Just going to take that flaky bit off because that might fold over when I'm doing the decoupage. So you can watch out for bits like that. Okay, and the same again. Just going to take my glue and put it where I need it. Carefully position that. It's about centre, I think. And then get another piece of glad wrap. Gently push that into the paint. And 
Now seriously, don't worry if your work is not completely flat. It's very hard to not have any creases. I have a little crease here, but I'm not too worried about it. No one will even notice. I hope. So that's the the front of my jar. Okay, so I think I'm just going to put this little piece here at the edge. little bit much glue there. And grab a piece of cling film. spread the glue far enough for that so I'm just going to touch up the edge there and on the other side I'm going to put this little butterfly this little guy here And I'm just going to put him flying off to the side there. I've got the same piece of um, cling film or glad wrap. No, I'm not sponsored by glare trap. <laughs> it's just what I'm used to calling it. So that's kind of cute there. And I think on the back, I'm going to put another little lot of birds. And I might take it down like that. Okay, so once you've got all your decoupage tissue in place where you want it and you're happy with it, you're just going to go over every surface with a just a thin layer of your homemade Mod Podge. 
or you can use shop bought mod podge if you prefer but this is a whole lot cheaper and this is really just giving it its first coat of sealer Okay, so there's your jar and um, now I'm just going to set that aside to dry and then I'll be coming back to put a couple of coats of uh, this sealer on the top. I think in the beginning of this video I did call this a primer, it's just I got confused because the product is called paint and prime but it is actually a sealer so that's what I'll be doing with that. See you soon. Okay guys, so we've finished our decoupage and the last step is we're going to get our primer, our clear primer and just give our jar a, a spray, probably two sprays. Yeah. Okay. Shake it up a bit. I've actually given it a shake already before the video started. So. And we just go for it. I'll leave that to dry and I'll do one more coat and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, so here's my finished product. It's turned out quite lovely. I've just put a bit of twine, green twine, around the top to finish it off. I think it would look beautiful in a shabby chic home or, or something like that. I'll just turn it around for you. There's the side. And the back. And the front.